For the last few months, the internet has been trying to out-internet itself with a series of rumors so disgustingly sad that it pains me to even talk about this topic, which is Spider-Man 4. The coveted, holy grail, Spider-Man 4. A movie that fans deep down know they're not gonna see, but still hold out hope to this day. These rumors just keep happening. I don't know who's starting them. I don't know if there's credibility to any of it. I'll talk about it and I'll add my two cents into the ring. Let you know what I think about Spider-Man 4 and the potential of it happening. Sure for potential. Let's begin. Before I dazzle your eyes and bewitch your ears, I want to talk to you about a partnership I have going on with TubeBuddy. I'm actually a proud paid member of TubeBuddy. I have been for well over a year now. I live and die by it. It really helps my videos get out there to the public because we're competing with millions of hours of uploads every single day. You got to find a way to stand out for the crowd. And that's where TubeBuddy comes in. What I love about this tool, which is really a myriad of different tools, is that I can apply it whenever I want to any video I want, from the titles, to the thumbnails, to the descriptions, to the keywords, it's all there. And they've added something extra special on top of what you already get, which is AI features. You know AI, the thing that's everywhere now and will probably replace me in a few months. I'm utilizing it. I'm using it to its full effect. The big three AI tools they're offering right now are YouTube short suggestions, which shorts are critical on YouTube in 2024 to grow this puppy out. There's also a thumbnail analyzer, which is gonna tell you what is and what's not working about the photo you're currently using on your video. But the one I really wanna shout out because I use it the most is the title generator. This thing is gonna analyze what you currently have. It's gonna do an A-B test if you want, or it's just straight up gonna give you like 10 suggestions. And this is happening by harnessing the Chad GPT AI. This isn't your grandma's Chad GPT. This isn't some free public domain crap. It's pulling from the code. It's pulling from the source. Listen, you guys know I put in a ton of work on this channel. I work my butt off here. So any sort of help I can get is always appreciated. This tool, TubeBuddy, has been saving me for the last year, really helping me generate content that is, I, I mean, I've seen the growth, you've seen the growth, and it is in part thanks to TubeBuddy. In fact, I'm not the only one seeing benefits from this. People that are using this software, specifically the AI tools, see 55% more subs than non-users. Currently, they're also offering 50% off annual Legend subscription, so check it out today. It wasn't long after Spider-Man No Way Home came out that the rumor mill started to circulate. People, it turns out, actually like all of these spider characters. Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland. And seeing them suit up together was a magical experience, of course. But we want more. Because we're greedy. We're selfish. And it didn't take long for the rumor mill to fire up with a bunch of speculation and complete nonsense. To be fair, a lot of these rumors did revolve around Sony and we know that they are a dumpster fire of a studio. So I wouldn't actually be surprised if a lot of those rumors were true. Mainly what to do with this universe that they have for themselves. The bad guy Spider-Man movies that don't have Spider-Man in them. You have Venom, Venom 2, Let There Be Garbage, Morby Shit, and of course it's Madam Webbing time or it's Madamine time. Pick your poison. Either way, you're gonna die from the terribleness of it all. They weren't sure if this should be set in the Tom Holland Peter Parker world or Andrew Garfield because he was so damn good in No Way Home. And even though his amazing Spider-Man movies suck, he was great. And so putting him in a good Spider-Man movie would be, oh, but then Sony realized that he would have to be in their Spider-Man, non-Spider-Man universe. And yeah, they know their movies suck too. So they were at kind of a crossroads. Britney Spears, and they weren't sure what to do with them, so I don't actually know where they settled. Madam Web isn't even part of the other films at this point. It's just this ugly stepchild that's just kind of kicked out of the curb. But the other ugly stepchildren are allowed to play in the same pool together for some reason. It's just a mess. And so to add to that mess, Sam Raimi has been in the talks lately about coming back to direct Spider-Man 4. If Chad Kroger doesn't have a single for this film, I walk! Chad Kroger on the vocals, Saliva guitarist, Our Lady Peace drummer, or I walk. It was a super group for the ages, and I want it back one last time. My boy Sam was recently asked about this, and he has no idea what's happening. He hasn't been, he hasn't been approached. 
But then again, he would also say that even if he had been approached because they have those silent contracts. And if you utter anything about what's going on over at MCU House of Mouse, Mickey will put a hit out on you. Oh, ha, ha, hi, Sammy. How's it going? Ha, ha. Pluto told me you were talking to reporters about making the film. Ha, ha. Don't you be messing with me, Sammy. Whoosh, or I will fuck you up. Ha, ha. Really went all in on that. It hasn't stopped rumors to continue coming out. I just saw yesterday or two days ago, or it doesn't matter. Every day is like seven years in the past that Sydney Sweeney's in talks to play Black Cat or Pussycat or whatever Black Widow equivalent they have for Spider-Man. She's going to be in the film. I think it is Black Cat. They just really didn't try it all with that name. I guess Catwoman was taken on the DC side of things. Like, uh... Uh, what do we got? Black cat? No, that's dumb. That's too on the nose. What about cat woman? Oh yeah, that they own that one. That one's theirs. Kitty cat? Uh, kitten pride? Kitty pride? Oh no, that's a thing too. We are, the X-Men have that. You know what? Did we say black cat? Yeah, let's just go with black cat. This thickens the plot because again, she's part of the cinematic masterpiece that is Madam Web. So what are they going to do there? How are you going to possibly have her play two different characters? It's, it's wild. Wait, is she Black Hat in Madam Web? Is that who she became? No. No. That, that's silly. That, that, that's silly. She became a disappointment. To make disappointing news more disappointing, it was then said that Spider-Man 4, directed by Sam Raimi, is actually the Tom Holland universe. Not the Tobes. Not the Tobey Maguire one. It's the Tom Holland one. So you're taking Sam Raimi, who did the original trilogy, and you're just going to throw him into the fourth of the, not Mark Webb, but whoever the guy is that does those No Way Home movies. What's the fourth one even called? Spider-Man Homeschooled? Spider-Man Home Alone? Spider-Man Homeward Bound? Has talking dogs in it? Spider-Man Home is Where the Heart Is? Spider-Man Homey Don't Play That. To be honest, I don't really care about the No Way Home franchise. I know, probably shocking based on my stature, my age, and just the fact that I'm wearing a Jurassic Park t-shirt that I'm stuck more with the 2000s Sam Raimi films than I am with the new ones. I connected more with those. Those ones got me more. With the cheesiness and the overacting and just the, the dramatization. I liked all that stuff. And I thought the, the swinging mechanics were better. Visually, obviously, it's aged a bit, but it has this cartoonish nature to it all to begin with. The tone really sits. It really settles nicely with the animation. Typically, I'm not a fan of dusting off the cape or donning a suit or a whip or a hat or whatever one more time for one last ride, especially years after the originals. In this instance... Because of what a hatch job Spider-Man 3 was and how Raimi did not get to make the movie he wanted. I think he wanted Vulture in that one originally or maybe that was going to be what Spider-Man 4 became. I would like to have one more crack at it for him. I want him to go out in the sunset riding high on that horse or whatever the analogy is that I was trying to go for but butchered it halfway through the sentence and now I'm just rambling. I want him to finish it the right way. And I think Kirsten Dunst, that, that star is still shining bright. I'd like to have a character for her this time that isn't just a damsel in distress. I mean, she had character arcs, but they inevitably just kind of ended the same way every time with her falling off a skyscraper and Peter Parker having to save her ass, web her back to reality. I want her to have a little bit more acting in this one and a little less screaming. But a Chad Kroger super group rocking out on top of a skyscraper is an absolute must. And if they're not going to do that right, then let's not even bother with the film. I'm so high. I can see heaven. I'm so high. I know a big thing with the MCU, with Marvel movies just in general, is they all have to connect and be part of the world. But I would love if Disney would actually take a page out of what DC's doing with some of their stuff. Obviously, the Snyderverse is crumbled. It's a, it's a smoldering heap on the floor at this point. It is what it is. But they did make some right calls, and I think that is the Batman, Joker, where they didn't attach them to their overall universe, they just let them cook on their own. And I would love if Marvel Disney did that, and they said, hey, you know what, why don't we do Spider-Man 4? Has nothing to do with the MCU, it's just part of the Raimi-verse going on. Let this guy do his thing, and we'll stay over here. We have a mess of our own to work with that we're still trying to figure out. Let's fix what we have here while we let some of these big-name independent guys do their thing. We'll stay out of it this time. We're not going to Sony this crap. We'll let him do what he wants. 
And then maybe we can do another film series or just a single standalone movie that has nothing to do with the MCU as well. I know Holland's all in for this, having the other Spider-Man come back again. They do another fun outing. That would be cool too. Dedicate a full film to these guys this time. Give them a bunch of screen time, not just the last 30 or so minutes off and on. I want a full-on Spider-Verse type film. That would be fantastic. But really, more than anything, I just would like to see a continuation of what Raimi had going on. I do think it is special. I think he has it in him to make another great one. Toby still looks good in the suit. He can buff up. He can hit the weights. He can hit the gym. Get a bow flex. Kirsten Dunst doesn't need to be the eye candy like she used to be in the rain. We have that. We cherish that. We love that. Let's let her grow up a bit too. Maybe she's a working girl in the city just trying to have it all raise a family. I mean, who knows, really? really? Who knows what's in it for Mary Jane? Let me know your thoughts on this whole Spider-Man 4 kerfluffle. Are you sick of seeing these rumors? I know I am. Just, just put an end to it already or make it happen. Stop hurting me. Stop teasing me with this crap. Let me know where you sit on Tom Holland Spider-Man. Are you excited for more of that? Another trilogy, getting away from the home stuff. Maybe, uh, you know, this kid's gonna go solo for once and not have to rely on a Papa Iron Man or a buddy road trip with Spider-Man people. Maybe he can just be on his own for once. Let me know. Please like the video and subscribe and make sure to check out TubeBuddy. They, they, they hooked me up with a partnership. I want to hook them up with some fan service their way. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll we'll see you next time. Take care. And they say that a hero can save us. I'm not gonna stand here and wait. Yeah.